Y'all, she really said my name. Beyonce really said my name. Oh my gosh, y'all, I've missed you all so much. I've been waiting to talk to you and tell you that Beyonce, the queen bee, told me she loved me at her concert here in Atlanta. It was such a huge, huge, huge moment for me. I'm a huge Beyonce fan, y'all. I love her so much and I've been to all of her concerts. Now, I can't say too much. But she said it to Darren and I, a really, really great friend of mine, doing Break My Soul. The moment was everything. And that message from Beyonce was so on time, y'all. I promise you it was so on time. I literally will never forget it. And neither will the 70,000 other people who heard her say it. She said it at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, listen, I got crazy sick after leaving the concert. I'll tell you all about that later this week. <laughs> I know you're like, Portia, prove it. Prove it. Prove that the biggest celebrity in the world told you she loves you. Well, take a listen. <laughs> You guys, this is my genuine reaction at the end of the concert as I'm reflecting on the fact that Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter told me she loved me at that concert. Look. Wow. She really said my name. Say my name. Say my name. I don't know if you caught it, but I'm kind of channeling her, you know, Austin Powers era, mixed with a little rena renaissance, mixed with a little cuff it with my outfit today and the abs popping and out. All right. So I saw her Friday and Monday. The Renaissance World Tour is an amazing production. Baby, the mic was on the entire night. The choreo was just it was amazing. The costumes were one of a kind. I especially like this pink number she had on when she told me she loved me. And the energy was only one a legend could create. She is the greatest living entertainer. And if you ask me, the best all around performer slash entertainer of all time. Now listen, I'm not arguing with y'all today, but feel free to argue amongst yourself in my comments below because I'm comfortable with what I said. <laughs> Now, speaking of women who dominate the game, did y'all hear that Rihanna had her second baby boy? You know, allegedly it's a baby boy. You know, it's just gonna be so cute like her baby Riza. I'm so excited for this billionaire black woman. If you recall, she announced her pregnancy during the Super Bowl, right? You know, when she did her halftime performance back in February. So, huge congrats to her. Now listen, I also love that throughout all of this, she is still pushing boundaries in the maternal fashion world. And let me tell you something, that's exactly how I would dress if I ever decided to bear a child. We'll see how that goes. So huge congrats to her and her partner, ASAP Rocky, on baby number two. I just know that son Riz is so excited to have a brother. I just know it. <laughs> and to round out my women getting it block, I have to shout out Shakari Richardson, all right? She won the women's 100 meters in Budapest. This all went down at the 2023 World Athletics Championships. She finished with a championship record of 10.65 seconds. Wow. And from the outside lane at that. So just know I, I personally could never. It's her personal best and just 0.16 behind the world record that Flojo set back in 1988. <laughs> Richardson was expected to win big in Tokyo, but she didn't compete after testing positive for cannabis. And just to keep in mind, she was mourning the death of her mother. All of that is very important to the story. But guess what? She won this time. <laughs> guess what y'all? 
Wonder Woman is back. Okay, well, not as Wonder Woman, but as Rachel Stone in the new movie, Heart of Stone. The Africa Channel's Rachel Smith, I know, ironic, right? Talked with Gal Gadot about the anticipated thriller along with co-star Aaliyah Bott, who's making her Hollywood feature in film debut. And before you ask, yes, this interview was filmed before the SAG after a strike, okay? Check it out. <laughs> How many in the welcome party? Six of them. Vanessa Majors, that's my former reparations. They said you can't slide, you're a treasure to the nation. Hardly seems fair. She's developing a sense of humor. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> How's it going, Rachel? It's like looking into a mirror. <laughs> Listen, it mm. makes my heart so happy when I see an empowered female character like Rachel Stone in a film like this. I'm like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, it just my name just got that much cooler for sure. <laughs> you guys, what a fun thrill ride. I mean, I'm still thinking about the movie. I just watched it last night. I think you guys are going to give Mr. Tom Cruise a run for his money for wow. biggest action film of the summer. Okay? Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so happy you loved the movie so much. Thank you. That was the intention. Yes, well, mission accomplished for sure. Don't know if you can be trusted. I'm standing you down, Rachel. I don't care. We have no idea what they're capable of. I need to shut it all down. Showtime! What is the one superhero skill that came in most handy in taking on this role? Being able to learn st stunt coordination uh, uh, fairly quick. I think because I used to be a dancer, it comes like I can click in it, into yeah. it very quick. I would say that the hand to hand combat, that was the one that I was like, yes, give it to me. Yes. Well, listen, home of MMA, that was very impressive. It really was. <laughs> ah, was nice. Was. Rachel, you're look, full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> so, I loved it. So is this movie. Aaliyah, by the way, congratulations. I mean, Come on, this is your first big Hollywood debut in Vegas. We call that hitting the jackpot, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy to. I'm happy to hit the jackpot. <laughs> Absolutely. What was the biggest surprise in co-starring with you know Wonder Woman herself? Um, biggest surprise. Interesting that she's such a foodie. I mean, honestly, I wasn't surprised that she's dedicated. I wasn't surprised that she's kind. I wasn't surprised that she is so focused and she's so hardworking because that's what makes her her. But what I was surprised was that she loves food. I remember um, in between, like we used to go for like, you know, if we had a little break and she would always ask me, what did you eat? What did you eat for lunch? What did you eat for a snack? And this is what I ate. She always wanted to know what I was eating. Um, so I was very surprised and impressed by that because I'm a full foodie myself. Oh, you got to listen. You got to come to Vegas. We're a food town. Yeah, it's true. I've been to Vegas before. Yes, you have, Vegas right? Have you and I had too much fun. <laughs> I don't remember how it was. No such thing. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I like the little uh, Ode to Gambling at the start of the film, not to give anything away, but there's a little love for Las Vegas at the start yes. of the film. Maybe if we get lucky and we get to do another one, we film it in Las Vegas. Let's see. I, I think that would be perfect. <laughs> You think you know everything, but the world is about to see the truth. Heart or no heart, I'm coming for you. One thing I think you both also would appreciate, I love that there's so many strong female characters that are in the field or behind the scenes, even reflected in the soundtrack. You've got Fleetwood Mac and Lizzo and Janis Joplin, which yes. I just love. So it's really reflected. For each one of you, what is that one song you want to put on and, and pump up really loud to get you ready for a big action scene? I would Ooh. say, and this is such a good one, because the girl who we brought to uh, compose the the theme song for Heart of Stone is an Israeli girl oh, called yeah. Nuga Erez and her partner, Russo. And they just have it. If you check out... I think it's end of the road. Okay. The name of the, that was the first song she came out with that made me fall in love with her. So you should check it out. Alia, what's your favorite, like go-to song to get pumped up? 
Um, I think it, it it differs from time to time, but you know, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan, and I think she's got such range and variety with when it comes to music and and just like channeling that really powerful, strong female core energy. Um, so I mean, any of her albums would just do the trick. <laughs> well, listen, the Swifties are gonna love this movie as much as I did. You guys, let me, are give, so- let me give you a bracelet. <laughs> I want all the bracelets. You guys are so delightful and congratulations. I can't wait for the uh, sequel in Las Vegas. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love you, love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Great Appreciate energy. It. Thanks. I am also super excited to say I also got the chance to meet the legendary Kevin Aviance at his country ball after party after the Beyonce concert, all right? All right, let me give you some details. No, Beyonce wasn't there, but so many people were. They were having a time, getting it, dancing, getting their life, singing all of the words. He was wearing this cute little dress. He was so tired, but I could still feel the goodness of his energy. And take a listen to our fun little interaction. <laughs> Look around here. You know, I love to give you a good word of affirmation at the end. Here's mine. Portia, I love you. I love you too, Beyonce. See you tomorrow. Girl, comfortable in my skin. Ah.